Well, we're going to uh, jump out of the birthday boy there, Tim McGraw, because we've got our uh, guests on the program. Want to uh, welcome Tristan? Uh, excuse me, let me get the uh, name right to begin with. Here it's uh, Trista and Ryan. Uh, Ryan, uh, for a fact, welcome back to the program. Thank you. Thank you. Nice to be back. Yeah, I don't know if, uh, I'm sure you don't after all these years, uh, recall that we talked once before. And Trista, this is the first time for uh, you and I, but uh, the two of you together here, uh, back to talk Bachelor stuff. and uh, Tell us what is going on with you guys in your life. I mean, a lot of us look and go, okay, how you were put together, celebrityism and everything else. Uh, you're still together and having a happy life as a husband and wife. We are, 15 years of marriage later. Congratulations. Um, we are really excited because we are in New York doing, um, doing lots of interviews with you included. Thank you for having us. And just talking about Tubi, it's a, a streaming app. It's T-U-B-I, and they are airing the first season of The Bachelor that I was on, the first season of The Bachelorette that we were on, our wedding special, and then the fifth season of Bachelor in Paradise. So we're really excited to be able to tell the people out there who constantly are asking us, where can we see your season? Where can we see your season? Um, they can see it now on Tubi uh, and be able to kind of look back and see how the show used to be compared to what it is now uh, and kind of see our love story evolve if Aww. they're at all interested. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me ask the two of you, because, again, you were right back there at the beginning and it was so many years ago. Uh, how has the show evolved and changed? I mean, what what differences do you note as you watch it now compared to what it was back in, in those days? Um, yeah, I, I, I don't watch a lot of it, but you, you can tell they've uh, they've had to do things to sort of keep up with trends in society. And I think when, when I was on it and uh, when Tristan and I, I were on it together, it was a fairly simple concept. You know, we were, you know, it was her and t- you know, 25 of us trying to um, win her hand. And now... You know, I think there's a little more uh, drama they interject into it, and there's actual characters, and there's side stories, and these different sorts of things that keep people's interest in it in a day and age where uh, people's attention spans are a little shorter. So I think they've just had to uh, create a show that's got, um, you know, something for today's audience, but the core of it remains intact, and um, I think that's the important part. People can still find relationships and lasting love on the show, and the same way we did. They just have to navigate it a little bit differently, and you know, certainly social media has had an influence on that, um, you know, positively and negatively, I suppose. But it's you know, it, it's just a reflection of where we are as society, as opposed to where we were, you know, fifteen, sixteen years ago. Now, this new streaming app, are we going to be able to stream all the seasons, or are they just starting off with the first early ones? Just starting off with the first ones for now, but who knows? I mean, they this, it's taken fifteen years, sixteen years, really, for us to be able to see it, um, you know, the first show. So who knows? Maybe at some point they'll have all of it uh, available. But for now, it is just the first. Trista, do you ever look back at all these other choices that you had and realize that you made a great choice? Uh, but oh. uh, but wonder, you know, what if you had picked somebody else? Do you have any communication or contact or knowledge where they're at in life? No, actually, that clearly that that thought has never crossed my mind and. I I said it earlier today, I knew that Ryan was the one for me when I was thinking about him when I was on the dates with the other guys, so it's kind of the the flop of that is that when when I was dating the other guys, when I had that opportunity, I was thinking about him and in the end of the show, so no, I mean, when you find your happily ever after, you don't think about what could have been because it's your happily ever after. No, oh, there so you go. I don't do that. <laughs> well, I'm gonna get I'm gonna give uh, Ryan some big brownie points right now because, like I said, we talked once beforehand back in uh, it's like 16 years ago, and I asked Ryan because you know at that point people watching the show and they there's those that were Trista fans and those that weren't, and I asked Ryan what he thought about about you and and listen up, this is his response. She really is a great girl, and and. It's tough for anyone to get an accurate depiction of who she is from watching TV or who I am from watching yeah. TV, but, yeah, she, she is a great girl. There you go. Aw, I love that. Listen to your sweet little voice. <laughs> <laughs> so what else is going on in life uh, with the two of you? Uh, family and all that stuff? I really didn't look uh, close at the bio, so tell me, where are the two of you at? 
Uh, really, it is about family. You touched on it right with that word. Uh, Max and Blakesley are our kiddos. Max is 11 and Blakesley is 10. They're into hockey and lacrosse and dance. We've got recital season coming up, end of the school year, field trips and field day and a lot of that fun stuff. Ryan uh, will be on American Ninja Warrior coming up again. Um, hopefully, we're going to be taping that. He, well, we're going to be going somewhere for him to tape that. And then I actually just taped, uh, was part of a bachelorette reunion that's going to air on Monday, May 6th. So that was really exciting to be able to hang out with, I think it was 12 other bachelorettes and many of them that I hadn't met before. So uh, that was really fun. I love my Bachelor Nation family, especially all of those really strong, um, you know, independent women. And it was fun to be able to connect to them. Ryan, let me ask you this. Uh, listening back to that interview that you and I had in the conversation, you were just getting used to being a celebrity and you were kind of looking forward at that point to things to quiet down and go back to your firefighters way of life. How are you now? Cause it sounds like, you know, you've continued to uh, stay in the celebrity limelight. Uh, how are you feeling about the, all that at this point in life? Uh, I'm fine with it. We, we've struck a really great balance. I think uh, things have certainly settled down since our last conversation 16 years ago. Mm -hmm. and, and like Trista said, our focus has become our family and we live in a quiet town uh, but we still have the advantage of taking it, uh, 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 making the most of the experience. So we get to do, you know, opportunity. We have opportunities like today to catch up with you. And I mean, this is kind of it. Actually, is kind of fun to to think that I, I sat here talking to you 16 years ago, and here we are still talking about sort of the same thing. But how life has evolved for us, and I'm sure for you as well. Uh, we can get into that if you'd like. I mean, I'm sure, sure <laughs> you, if you'd rather not talk about it, but. But for me, I, I'm I'm completely fine with it. I've I've adjusted. I think as a person, I've I've grown used to the um, the little bit of celebrity that we do still carry. Um, but for the most part, our life is is really normal and family focused, and um, we just have these little uh, opportunities to to take advantage of this experience that we we had that we shared together with um, millions of people really uh, years and years ago, and that's kind of a fun thing to to have. Well, I think I'm, I can speak for everybody that listens uh, this morning uh, and, and say, you know, we're happy for you. And congratulations, because there's a, a bunch of odds were against you to make it this long. And, and even then you add in the celebrity side of all this, it makes it even tougher. But you guys have survived, and it's got to be based upon that love that the uh, two of you have. It's a pleasure talking to you. Tell us again the app where we can get uh, all the uh, original shows on. It's called Tubi, T-U-B-I. All right, we'll uh, get that downloaded. We'll check it out. And listen, I look forward to our next conversation. and make it out here to the West Coast, so maybe we'll get together and do this in person. Uh, continue on uh, the, the happy life that the two of you have, and thanks for sharing uh, it this morning with us. Thanks, Thank Ron. you, Roland. All right, thanks, guys. Bye-bye. Have a good day. You too.